In the series of CDM questions, here we are discussing question number 50. In this, so we have the question, what are the activities involved in study conduct phase? In the very first question we discussed, there are three phases, three main phases of the CDM life cycle. So which are startup, conduct, close out. Study startup, study conduct, study close out. So here sometimes interviewer may ask you what are the activities involved in the study conduct phase. Study conduct phase will take the major hold. It will take 60% of the hold. So here are the study conduct activities. So study conduct will start with enrollment of the subject. Whenever you start collecting the data from the subjects, whenever you start collecting the data from first subject, first visit, your conduct will start collecting the data of first patient, first visit. Your closeout will end collecting the data with last patient, last visit. So, first activity that we do in study conduct is data entry. So, this is entering the data into databases, capturing the data into databases. Sometimes we use traditional case report forms. Sometimes we correctly, uh, we directly entering the data into electronic CRFs. So data entry will be done by means of first pass entry, second pass entry. If the data is directly collecting into electronic systems, EDC tools, there will be no second pass entry. Only one time data entry is enough in EDC. So once the data entry has been completed, then we start validating the data. We need to ensure the data is complete, consistent, valid. For that, we perform the data validation activities. So some checks are run at the time that you're entering data. Some edit checks are programmatic edit checks. So these will be executed after completion of the data entry through batch validation. So after data entry, we'll plan to run the batch validation. Then discrepancy management will be done. As a result of validation, your system will trigger the discrepancies, invalid entries, invalid data, will identify them and will resolve them by generating the queries. So we'll generate a query, we'll communicate that query with the site, then we'll resolve it. So during the conduct activities, we do even data coding also. The next is data coding. Data coding is nothing but converting verbatim terms into standard terms. Verbatim terms means the terms as it is collected on the CRF. We need to convert them to standard terms. These standard terms will get from the dictionaries. So converting verbatim terms to dictionary terms. We perform the SA reconciliation. SAE, Serious Adverse Event. Whenever the serious adverse event is reported, this will be recorded into safety databases and also clinical databases. Reconciliation is nothing but comparing safety variables between 
safety database and tritium database that is reconciliation to ensure the consistency of data in the same way we even do the vendor data reconciliation third party data reconciliation so whatever the external data third party data when it is recorded from the vendor side and the freedom databases we compare both the data so comparison of the data points between vendor database and the clinical database this is called vendor data reconciliation so these are all as part of data review process so we enter data we run batch validations we'll find the discrepancies we'll raise a query we'll get it resolved so we'll perform the coding and the reconciliations of the data so these are all the activities involved in study conduct if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thank you for watching this video see you in the next video